So you've decided to move to Arizona. Well, you're thinking, where in Arizona should I be? Well, there's all kinds of different suburbs. Phoenix is in the center, obviously, but what's all around it? Well, we're in one of those all around it's right now. It's called Mesa, Arizona, and Mesa is a very vibrant town. It was settled in the late 1800s, but uh, now it's got a population of just about half a million people. And there's all kinds of fun stuff to see and do. And that's what this video is all about, is kind of give you an idea of what living in Mesa, Arizona is all going to be like and all the cool stuff that it has to offer. We'll talk about the, the pros, we'll talk about a couple of cons, but most of the time we're just going to give you a general idea of what it is to live here and see how that all fits into your schedule and your budget, see if you like it. So when does that all begin? It begins right now. So welcome to Mesa, Arizona. If you're the first time to our channel, well, you'll want to make sure you click, click like, subscribe, and click the bell so you get all our updates. Make sure you get the most information because we're all over the all over the Metro Phoenix area showing all kinds of different areas. So this Mesa just being one of them. And so you want to make sure you get all those updates. Uh, I will say that uh, I'm a real estate agent and I've been in town for many, many years. In fact, I just celebrated my 40th anniversary here in Arizona. So I watched the towns grow up. I know the, my way around and I can get all that good information for you both on these videos as well as personally. So if you have any questions, definitely get with me in the information you know, subscribe below and uh, uh, send me some messages like people do all the time. Uh, if you are looking for a home, either seven days out or seven months out, doesn't matter to me. I'm here for the long term and I'm here to answer any questions and do anything I can for you. So when does that all begin? Let's take a look. All right. So we're talking about Mesa, Arizona. Let's first of all figure out where it is. In fact, I jump back to my office so I can uh, bring up this mapping software and show you where we are on the map and then we'll jump back into and go back to the neighborhood. So where is Mesa in relation to Phoenix and the greater Phoenix metropolitan area? Let's let's take a look. Notice Mesa's right here, due east of Phoenix, more or less. Okay, so where is Phoenix? Well, Phoenix is in the center of the in the center of the state. So if I zoom way out, you can see here's the the border of the state. Phoenix is right in the center, and then Mesa is about twenty to twenty five minutes east of Phoenix. Okay, so um, a lot of people want to know, first of all, how far away is it from a major airport? Well, the cool part about Mesa is you actually have two. Okay, the biggest one that everyone knows about is right in this little area here. That's Phoenix Sky Harbor. Now, how do you get from Phoenix Sky Harbor to Mesa? Well, the easiest way to do it um, is to take the new freeway, uh, the Loop 202. Uh, and you can see on the map, the Loop 202, it took them a while to build it, but boy, when they did, it made a big difference for everybody in the valley. Uh, now that they've completed it out on the west side, it's even better than that. So you take, an airport. as you're in the airport, you just zoom straight out 202, and you're almost into Mesa just coming out the 202. I mean, you pretty much, you have access, because for, for uh, argument's sake, or just to kind of give you a mental picture of where Mesa is, Mesa pretty much is this whole area right here. Okay, it borders Apache Junction to the on the uh, eastern side and it has Tempe on the western side. And then the 60 is the uh, basically the north-south border. In fact, just, just south of 60 and Baseline Road is the border of Mesa. So this is generally where Mesa is. So if you're coming out of the freeway, you're pretty much on 202. You pretty much have access to pretty much all of it on the north, on the north side coming to 202. Or you can come out and head south on the 101 and pick up US 60 on the south side. So you can come in from this direction or you can come at it from this direction. So either way, there's all kinds of benefits there. Now that's from Phoenix Sky Harbor. I'll just write Phoenix, PHX. Okay. There's another airport that used to be uh, back in the 50s and 60s, well, 40s, 50s, and 60s. They trained a lot of World War II pilots there. Uh, there were two Air Force bases, one out on the uh, on the extreme west side of town up here. Um, and that was Luke Air Force Base, which still exists to this day. The other one, however, is out in the East Valley and it's down in this area here. And it's the it's called Phoenix Gateway Airport now. It used to be Williams Air Force Base for many, many years. Uh, that's what basically a lot of our military pilots in the Air Force were turned out of these two, air, two, two bases. They've since decommissioned Williams and turned it into a local airport called Williams Gateway. 
Now, Williams Gateway right now, it's fully capable of jet traffic, obviously. And what they, the major airlines that are there, primarily now, it's uh, Allegiant Air and a few other smaller carriers. But there are advantages to flying out of the East Valley as opposed to driving to Phoenix. And again, it's going to depend on what airline you're flying, of course, but you do have a choice living out in this part of the world. So there are advantages to doing that. Okay, so this is kind of where it's been or where it's at rather on the map. Let's now go in and take a look at some of the cool things to do in the Mesa area. All right, so there's going to be a number of things in Mesa that are really a lot of fun to do. Uh, a couple things that we'll talk about. First of all, you can uh, definitely spring training. It's the home of a bunch of different sports teams, the Cubs and whatnot. And we'll show you some pictures of that, as you can see. Uh, we're also going to take a look at some of the other cool things, like the lakes that are further east of us. There are several lakes. Uh, Swar Lake is one of them. Uh, Canyon Lake is another one. Apache Lake. So we're getting all kinds of things like that. Specifically, you want to take a look at the Dolly riverboat trips. They they have a dolly on uh, on uh, Canyon Lake, and there's another one. I'm not sure the name of it, but it is at Saguaro Lake, and it's a similar to dolly. It's a riverboat, and they'll basically take you back into the lake and show you all, all kinds of cool stuff that uh, maybe you don't have a boat for. Other things that you can do, as you can see here, we can also, you can go tubing if you don't have a boat. There's a salt river. They run tours in the, uh, in the summer months, so you can go and uh, rent a tube. They'll even provide for the bus. You just go out there and you're fully floating and go out there and have a great time with family and friends. So that's a lot of fun things to do as well. Okay, so here we are in the first of the three neighborhoods we're going to take a look at. This is on the lower end of the price scheme and uh, homes in this neighborhood are going to run anywhere between, oh, let's say three and five fifty, give or take. Um, the neighborhood that you see is uh, usually an older home. Uh, the ranch style is very popular in Mesa. Uh, at least it was in the 60s and 70s. Uh, the homes we'll see in the following neighborhoods are gonna be a little bit newer. But this is pretty common for what you'll see not only in Mesa, but in Tempe and other cities like it that have been around a while, like Glendale and Peoria and uh, things like that. So this is pretty typical. Um, streets are nicely maintained in this neighborhood, it looks like. Um, you know, I see a lot of the book yards. There's a lot of desert landscaping, which is always a smart thing to do because, you know, we kind of do live in a desert. So it's good to not have a lot of water usage and things like that for the uh, for the properties. Um, so we just kind of take a look. Um, one of the things that you will see, I'll say more of in Phoenix than perhaps other places. Um, and obviously it makes sense, you know, just because. In fact, you see it on the top of this house. You see the, uh, the solar panels. Uh, solar panels. Um, with the government programs, things like that. It can cut your electric bill, and sometimes you can get them installed for next to nothing because of the government programs. Cut your electric bill. In fact, you can even sell some of the power back to the grid if you don't use all the power that you generate. So some people like them, some people don't. Just a matter of uh, personal choice, but they are available. And obviously with 280 days of sun a year, give or take, or maybe even more than that, uh, Phoenix is definitely a place to take advantage of solar power. So. Um, in fact, take a look at this house right here. Um, give you an idea of what uh, what the home is on the market for. This one is on the market for 329. Uh, it's a 1,575 square foot house, which equates to about 200 and 206, 209 dollars a square foot, give or take. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Um, but it's pretty typical of not only this neighborhood, but, uh, you know, in homes that are in this general area. Okay. So this is kind of, uh, the middle of Mesa. Mesa is, as we've seen on the map, and in fact, let's go ahead and take a look at it again. Uh, you can see on the north side is where you'll find the nicer homes. On the, on the middle is where you'll find most of the, uh, mid-range and lower-end homes and other places. In fact, one of the things that we haven't discussed in this video, we will have a separate video on it, is the Eastmark community. And that's down in the south part of Mesa. It's south of the freeway and it's very much an up and coming, uh, completely, totally developed place. It's a, it's meant to be everything. So it'll have shops and restaurants and places to work and all kinds of things. So it's a totally uh, developed community for just the Eastmark community. So we'll be, be looking on for that in the uh, in subsequent videos because that's certainly a place that a lot of people are considering. Um, when they first started doing it about five, six years ago, it was barely taken off and now it's really taken off as one of the places to be. So take a look at that in another video. So this has been the, I'll say the first of the three that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to go into the next one, which is the mid-range in the city of Mesa, Arizona. So we'll see you then.
Okay, here we are in the second of our neighborhoods in Mesa, Arizona. This one is gonna be kind of what I would consider the mid-range. And the mid-range in this uh, this town is pretty much anywhere between, let's say, uh, on a high end or low end of uh, 500 on up to 750 or so. In fact, this is in the Las Sendas neighborhood. Uh, it's up in North Mesa, and uh, it kind of butts up against the uh, uh, the nation, the, the National Preserve and things like that north of us. In fact, if you look out in that direction out there, that's where you'll see, in fact, you remember I mentioned and showed pictures of uh, Candy Lake and Swirl Lake and the Salt River and things like that. This is going to be the closest to it. I mean, you're right off of Power Road and uh, just north of this subdivision is pretty much right into the, uh, uh, the state land. So there's all kinds of uh, things to do and it's very you're right up right here with it so like i said homes in this area are going to anywhere between uh let's say five and uh five and eight hundred give or take uh, in fact this home right behind me this one is a three bedroom two bath it goes for about five hundred and thirty thousand dollars or that's what they're asking for it anyways and so that gives right around 260 a square foot give or take so um, that's going to be what you're going to find in these uh, in this part of the neighborhood. Um, I will say, just like in the other parts of town, um, the nicer neighborhoods, you're going to see uh, streets with sidewalks. You're going to see wider streets. So all that stuff is here, too. So there's all kinds of uh, things to do up in this part of town. I live just south of here. Uh, it's a very nice part of town as well. So. Um, this is this is Mesa, Arizona. And this is the I say the middle of the middle of the range. We've seen the low end. We've seen the mid range. Let's go take a look at the uh, the next one, which is the high end of Mesa. So as we've seen in the other two neighborhoods, Mesa really has it all covered from the moderately priced homes to the mid-range, and now we're into the nicer homes. And these homes that we're gonna see on this street are anywhere between 750 on up to over a million dollars. Uh, typically, you're gonna find homes in this neighborhood, um, pretty much they wanna be bigger homes. They're gonna be three, four, five bedrooms. Um, and by price point, like I said, above 750. In fact, to give you an idea of this home right behind me, it's got a uh, nice manicured lawn, everything nice and tidy. And that's really what you're gonna see in this part of town. This is in the north of Mesa. Uh, in fact, the home that we're gonna take a look at is just across the street here. Um, this one, it sells, it's on the market currently for uh, uh, 800 and just under $890,000. It's a four bedroom, three bath, 2962 square feet, built in 1997. So uh, you're thinking it's gonna be right in the neighborhood of about $300 a square foot. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's kind of pan behind me. But it gives you an idea of what, uh, what the home is and is all about and what kind of neighborhood you can expect. So the neat thing about these neighborhoods in the higher end, obviously, the streets are going to be wider, going to be a lot more quiet. Um, sometimes there's a gated community, sometimes not. This one uh, does not have a gated community, but it is in the north part of town, and that's really where uh, you're going to find a lot of the nicer homes in Mesa is up in the, uh, the northern part of the city. So um, just kind of stroll around the neighborhood. I want to give you an idea of what these houses look like, and you can kind of see in just a moment what they, uh, a little more, a little more variety. Um, but I wanted to kind of walk around and show you just a couple of really neat houses. This one to my right here is just really cool, I thought. And then as I turn around, just take a look at the one right off my back shoulder. That one's kind of neat, too. So this has been Mace, Arizona. If, again, if you have any questions, or by all means, get with me. My contact information is below. Make sure you click that subscribe and like button as well as the bell so that you get all our updates because, like I said, we're out all over, the, all over the county and doing everything we can for real estate. So if you have any questions, by all means, get with me. Other than that, we'll see you on the next video.